I'm going to be showing you how to use a hacked X9 activity tracker as a simple uh, angular position-based gesture recognition device. Not only that, we are going to use a neural network in a website, a web application, call it what you want, um, to basically uh, train a classifier that will determine um, whether we are, we are um, enacting that gesture or not. Uh, and we're going to be using something really cool, uh, Web Bluetooth, to get the data into the website. Um, Web Bluetooth is a experimental um, HTML API uh, that's supported best by Chrome. Uh, and there's some instructions in the project on how to get that going. Uh, essentially, we have uh, the accelerometer data from the activity tracker. We take the accelerometer data, we send it to our computer, to the website, uh, using Bluetooth. There's a sketch for the device, an Arduino sketch, uh, that's included in the project. You just load up that sketch on your hacked uh, X9 activity tracker and you load up the website. Um, you can use the live website. It will work for anyone, anywhere, as long as you have web Bluetooth. You don't actually have to mess with the website. Just go to the site. There's a link um, underneath this video. Um, press connect, and boom, you're going to have your data show up. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you a live demonstration in just a second using that exact site. Uh, the site is open source. Uh, it's on a GitHub repository. Not only that, it is a GitHub site. So if you go to GitHub, all you have to do is fork um, the repo and set it up as a GitHub page. And you have your own site that you can customize and mess with and experiment and hack. Um, it's awesome. So on this little uh, web application, you're going to see a bunch of buttons. Uh, this is a cool little web application. Uh, great for demonstrations. Uh, it allows you to train two neural networks. Um, these are uh, MLP, multi-layer perceptrons. Uh, you can choose from a couple different architectures, which is pretty neat. Um, the uh, two input node uh, architectures are just roll and pitch. And um, for fun, or rather for experimenting, uh, the three input uh, architectures include the light sensor. So this uh, device has a heart rate sensor on it, and that heart rate sensor includes a uh, photo sensor, an uh, LED and a photo sensor. And so uh, you can use the values from the photo sensor for whatever you want. And so right now the raw values are there. Obviously the photo sensor is underneath the device and uh, it's on my wrist, so it doesn't really matter that much right now, um, but it's there to play with if you want. Uh, so let's just deal with uh, pitch and roll for now. Okay, so as you can see, um, you can see the, the values for pitch and roll changing uh, as I move my hand. Okay. So I'm going to gather true data for having my uh, wrist flat like this. So I'm gathering, I'm sampling data. Uh, there's data uh, streaming into the web app, and I'm grabbing little snapshots of that data as samples. And I just gathered 25 in this position. I'm going to gather another 25. Uh, okay, so now we have uh, 50. 50 in this position, right? So now I'm going to get some data in this position. OK, so now we're going to get another uh, 50 points of data. Now I should probably be moving my hand. OK, so moving a little bit is going to hit different angles and give your neural network a little bit more flexibility. Uh, so yeah, just give it a little bit more, a little bit more data. Here it was 75. And we'll get another 25 here. There we go. OK, so now we have our data. Now we're going to train it. So we're dealing with the first neural network. So there's a button for training the first neural network. Press that. So now it's training right now. Um, if you look at the console, the browser console in Chrome or whatever, um, you'll see uh, a bunch of uh, console output um, relating to the training. So uh, check that out if you want. Uh, and now I'm going to activate it. Cool. 
OK, so here you can see the score. So that's going to be our output node. Remember, with our architecture, we're using a 2551. So that's two input nodes, roll and pitch, uh, one output node. Um, so are we in this gesture? Um, or rather, are we in this gesture, or are we in this gesture? This gesture, or this gesture? So as you can see, uh, this is doing a really good job. So we get uh, 95 for the flat wrist like this, and then moving my wrist up like this, and then it's going to be 0%. Uh, so the, the neural network is saying there's you know, a 3% chance that our hand is flat, which is not bad. Uh, you probably want to have a cutoff in there. A little bit of noise is not a problem. Um, so there are two neural networks that you can train in here. So what you can do is you can train the neural networks with different data. You could train the neural networks with similar data, but different architectures. Um, you could uh, remove the device from your wrist. And you could try out the photo sensor and see what effect that might have on training neural networks. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do uh, with just this website without actually having to mess with any code. Uh, you have uh, hyperparameters for the neural network, really basic ones, uh, the training rate, um, error, that kind of thing. Um, I'll send you a link uh, with more explanation on that. won't go into it here uh, now. This is all very simple. This is all using um, synaptic.js. That's the uh, neural network uh, library, JavaScript library that's used in this website. It's extremely simple. Um, it's not very fast. It's not very sophisticated, but it's more than enough to, um, to do these demos and to, to learn a little bit about how we can apply machine learning to sensor data, to sensor data from your hacked activity tracker.